kind of gone through all of those feelings of, yes, I'm, I'm down for this, I want to do it, to, holy shit, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> guys, it's Justin here. So, I'm about to do something that makes me feel very nervous. A lot of people ask me when I do my job, whether I'm on a red carpet or shooting for TV or interviewing a celebrity if I ever get nervous. And I would say, oh no, you know, it's a single swim kind of thing, fight or fly, you get to that point. And I've always had this ability to just jump in and do it. But what I'm about to do actually genuinely makes me feel kind of scared. So I've agreed to do a nude photo shoot. Now, just to give you some context, I was approached by a local gay and lesbian group called My People My Tribe and they are putting together this amazing exhibit of 100 nude people over 100 days. So this was inspired by the quote, you can't hate someone whose story you know, and what it's doing is encouraging people to share open and honest stories about themselves, basically share their story that people may know, people might know some of, people might not know any of it at all. They might be completely keeping it to themselves. And so the idea of this photo shoot is not, you know, to be like, wow, look at me, I'm naked. You know, it's more about stripping down, you know, removing your armour and being... Oh, it makes me nervous just talking about it. Basically just the bare naked truth physically and, you know, the words. <laughs> I just think there's so much hate in the world at the moment and if a hundred of us can tell our story, then that might encourage other people to tell their story. So it's Wednesday, the shoot is on Saturday. I've kind of gone through all of those feelings of, yes, I'm, I'm down for this, I wanna do it, to holy shit, what have I gotten myself into? To um, the control freak taking over and wanting to control every element of what happens and how I'm seen and then, you know, what will people think of me? Um, Will I be laughed at? Uh, will people think that I'm doing this for the wrong reasons? Um. doing it is because I don't have any pride in my body. Well I do, like, you know, I used to be incredibly overweight and I lost a lot of weight and I've kind of come to this point where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I always say to people I've got, you know, more work to do and stuff like that, but um, I'm half forcing myself to do it because I feel like I should be proud of how I look. and not be worried about what other people think, but, you know, going through the last weekend, <clears throat> thinking through this process has been really challenging, and at one point I thought, can't do it. Which is so stupid because it's just a photo and God knows that I've, you know, had almost next to no clothes on before, but the the thing is, it all comes back to a control issue and, you know, I always like to control what people can see of me. So, yes, I've worked really hard and yes, I am very proud of myself and, um, but people who have gone through this will understand that you kind of get to a point where you're like, well, I'll let the world see my arms and my legs because, you know, they're great, but, you know, everything else gets put away or there's, you know, you won't wear particular clothes because it's just not... It's not what you, you want the world to see. And in my line of work, you very much create a persona of who you want to be. 
God, I can't believe I'm crying. This is so ridiculous. This is not what this video was meant to be about. That caught me by surprise. God damn it. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is because I want others to feel inspired and I don't want, you know, people to be like, oh, look at him, he's showing off. I've had that comment before. Um, I'm not showing off. This is a huge thing for me to do. I feel really, really nervous about it. And um, in saying that, it is for an amazing cause. I've had some amazing chats with the photographer and we've talked through what we're going to do and I feel comfortable about, you know, how I'm going to pose and how it's going to turn out. But at the same time, I'm still shitting myself because, you know, God, I don't get naked in front of anyone. I've never even sent a naked selfie. So I'm home alone at the moment recording this video while there's nobody else in the house and I haven't told anyone. Actually, I've told one person that I'm doing this shoot and that's my boyfriend and he's just been so supportive and so amazing as always. I haven't told anyone because I didn't want anyone to talk me out of it. This is something that I'm going to do. I'm going to tell my story and whether it's awful or amazing, I don't care, I, I want to do it, and there might be a few unexpected tears like there were before, but if it does something or if it helps someone, then that's my job done. Okay, <clears throat> so it's the night before my shoot, and I'm just checking in to let you all know um, that I'm still shooting myself. That's it. Okay. Good night. Okay, I'm on my way to my shoot. It's Saturday morning and it is freezing. I hope it's nice and warm with the studio. Hmm. Anyway, I've been listening to a little bit of Fergie Milf money. I figured that might get me in the right frame of mind for today. I'm almost there. Just Still feeling a little bit nervous, but um, I'm ready. Let's do this. <sighs> I did it. <laughs> the camera might be a little bit shaky because I'm shaky. It was good. The guys were so nice. They kept telling me how great I looked and you know what a great job I'd done to lose so much weight, and they were really encouraging. And it was it was good. I, I don't know what else to say. I yeah, I've done it. I did it. I'm pretty stoked with myself. So here I am, it's the night before my picture gets posted on the My People My Tribe Instagram account and I'm so nervous, <laughs> I just, I've had to keep this to myself as a secret for so long and occasionally it would like pop into my head that I'd done the shoot and I'd be like, <gasps> and people would be like, are you okay? I'd be like, mm, yeah. Or, you know, I'd be like, what is that thing I need to tell you? And then all of a sudden I'd realise what it was and I'd be like, oh, I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. I'm so glad that I did this. It was a completely unexpected emotional journey for me from beginning to end. And I kind of feel like the journey that I went on was almost the point of the entire exercise was to really tell your honest and true story and I feel like this helped me break down a few of those barriers that I was holding up. Anyway, I'm just glad that the photo is going to be out, everyone can see it, there's no more not telling anyone anything. I'm still nervous about what all of you think. But I feel really good for doing it and that's the most important thing. I'd really love it if you could support My People My Tribe by following them on Instagram at My People My Tribe. Thank you so much to Josh and to Brenton, you guys were amazing. And I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm ever gonna do any more nude photo shoots, but I'm not gonna rule it out, let's say that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, thank you for listening to my story. If you enjoyed it, 
make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I really hope you enjoy the photo. Look at us though, we look so different. I've got me all north.